Well, we are in New Orleans. We arrived in the hotel, and yes, I was getting ready to point that out. That's some of that classic New Orleans architecture. I didn't expect it to be lavender, though. That's pretty. You didn't expect it to be lavender? Where do you think you are? <laughs> Again, I've never been here. <laughs> yeah. So we are, uh, we're gonna take a look around. We're in the heart of downtown now. Downtown New Orleans. I haven't been here in quite a few years, but uh, it's well, changed. It's, you. it's like more than generation ago. Yeah, I haven't been here since the 90s, and uh, it's grown. It's grown, it's grown quite a bit. We are approaching Canal Street, the world famous Canal Street. Huge Marriott. That's new. I'm gonna come out and take a look at everything. That's everything shop. Huh? Is it this way? Yes, we're making We're gonna go this way? Okay. Can we cross the street? I'm sure we can go whichever way is there. Yeah. Look, voodoo market. What's that? Voodoo market. Yeah, there's voodoo shops all over. That's like an ultra modern one. Yeah, I'm sure there's very little voodoo you know, on a French. On Go in the French Quarter, you got those ones that are hundreds of years old. Yeah. Look at that architecture though, it's so cool. Yeah. Palace Cafe. All that cool looking architecture and the giant Marriott behind it. <laughs> the voodoo Market. Come out on the street. So we are on Bourbon Street now. That is Bourbon Street heading that way. Some colorful graffiti here on an empty building. In this empty building. Yeah. All right, so Bourbon Street's that way, so we'll head back that way. Checking out the cool buildings. The atmosphere, the vibe, it's really pretty awesome here. Of course, here's the Ritz Carlton, which we can't afford. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, there it is. We got to go this way. The wife has never been to the French Quarter. She says it's got to be more interesting than this. Yes, it is. Now I start hearing the live music. Oh, looky, the Hustler Club. <laughs> Woo! You two might not like that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Hey, let's go across the street. 
Huh? The pole might not like that. I'd go in there if you were actually into it. Voodoo Blues. I don't remember the street being so narrow. <laughs> Obviously, uh, I, I don't know. I thought it was wider. It's uh. Well, all right. Last time I was here, it seemed wider. I guess. Making some noise with uh, empty pickle or buckets. It is delightfully seedy. Watch out, you're about to get hit by a car. Not. I would never try to drive down the street. <laughs> Figure it out? Yeah, I just want to be able to. <laughs> okay. I just want to make it more difficult to grab. Oh, uh, wow, I think this place is closed. that changes colors. <laughs> but have no usual Jack Daniels. Well, I'm guessing maybe four. Huh? I'm guessing maybe four. I don't really want to do more than that. You want to have four drinks? <laughs> yeah, we're in, we're in the French Quarter. Right. Now we're hearing some blues music. <laughs> That's what I came down here for. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that for tomorrow night, you know? Yeah, for sure. The little kids playing. Got the kids put to work. <laughs> Starting to really liven up down here. For a Thursday night. We'll definitely be back tomorrow. Do you want to get run over by the guy on the bike? No. Especially like with it. It is a pretty view, isn't it? That will be it for tonight. But we will be coming down tomorrow night. It's going to be a Friday night. It's going to be crazy. We are in the warehouse district of New Orleans this morning. And, well, it's just like it sounds. It's a warehouse district that has been repurposed into other kinds of businesses, restaurants and hotels. And in fact, this is where our hotel was. Our GPS directed us to this building and it doesn't look like a hotel. We were wondering what the hell was going on and um, our only clue was the little sign here 
you see the little blue sign it says Sonesta ES that is our hotel so anyway uh, I'm gonna begin my exploration of New Orleans this morning and I'm gonna head this way to this parking lot up here where the Bronco is parked now to give you a bit of an idea where we are um, this is the parking lot where the Bronco is parked you can see that we're on the edge of downtown so I'm gonna head in that way and I'm gonna cross the river and see downtown from the other side that's the hotel <laughs> and um, I'm gonna go check out the Superdome and that building right in the middle of frame I want to see what's going on with that and just to uh, help help a little bit the French Quarter is straight that way about five blocks walking distance and then the uh, Mississippi River is about three blocks that way so as you can see we are in the thick of things here at the hotel and I'm gonna jump in here and go explore the city now I'm approaching the freeway that crosses the river I am on my way onto that and I'm going to go on the other side of the Mississippi River and see what it looks like over there I've been to New Orleans a couple of times before I've never went over there so I'm gonna go check it out see what we can see see a bunch of homeless people here under the freeway really big encampment right there pretty early in the morning trying to avoid traffic as it is a Saturday here in New Orleans so the city is full of tourists even in January houses that are a little bit more beat up over here I'm gonna guess this is probably not the best neighborhood in town this road I'm on straddles the Mississippi and there's a uh, downtown All right, I'm getting close to this park. Should be interesting to see. There's downtown. Um, I am across the river from the main part of the city. It's nice and calm and quiet here. Nice view. You see this church um, that is in Jackson Square in the French Quarter so that is the French Quarter right there just gonna walk along here for a little bit and get the view as this huge container ship pulls up Wow huge container ship it's not something you see every day sailing into the New Orleans Harbor or the New Orleans port wherever it's going but it's pretty pretty awesome anyway I'm gonna head back into the city and do some exploring giving you a bird's eye view of New Orleans on this side of the Mississippi the neighborhood And there is that huge bridge that I'm going to be uh, crossing. And like I said, I'm going to go to Superdome first and then ex check out that building there. You can see it. It's a pretty prominent part of the skyline, but I suspect that it's empty that kind of tall building to the left 
So I'm going to check that out also. All right, I'm heading into town now. All right, just cruising through the city. Approaching the Superdome. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to turn left there, fella. But okay. All right, here we go. There it is, right there. So, I want to find a place to park and get a closer look at it. Yeah, managed to park the Bronco there. I'm not gonna lie, this part of town does not feel safe. But, I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the Superdome. But I'm just looking at this building. It's massive. It's got barbed wire on the fence. Honestly, it looks abandoned, but there's cars in front. But it is in pretty bad disrepair. And it's huge. All right, so the Super Bowl, or Superdome is on the other side of this building. I'm gonna head over. That's the Superdome right at the uh, end of the street. So I'm going to go there now. Just checking out this. I guess it's a street. It looks like an alley almost, doesn't it? It's pretty rough. Okay, well, I'm on the street. Or across the street, if you will, from the Superdome. I was hoping I could get right up on it, but I guess I can't. But I remember when this was built, when I was a kid, and uh, it was an architectural wonder. One of the wonders of the world at the time. It was the first huge arena or stadium. Um, Super Bowls were held there, of course, biggest concerts. It's been passed over many times now by bigger, more flashier arenas, but this was the first one, the first big one. It's still a cool looking building. And it looks like it's still in use quite a bit. There's a lot of advertisement for big concerts to be played here in the coming months and weeks, or weeks and months in that order. But uh, it's, yeah, it's still a really cool building to look at. And, of course, some of the buildings that are right next to it. This is Tulane School of Medicine right here, Tulane University. But she's still a beauty, isn't she? Something to see up close. I don't know if the camera's going to really give you a feel of how awesome it is. <laughs> But um, anyway, I'm going to go head over to that other odd looking building that looks empty. I'm at this alley near my, or near the Bronco. Looking at these old decrepit buildings. Decay, if you will. There's even an old rusty camera there. It's probably not operational. There's a beauty to it though. I don't know why I th think that, or that it, that's what it's like for me, but this is clearly a part of New Orleans that's forgotten a little bit, in the downtown area. Broken out windows. And of course, there's that building again. It's a huge building, but quite frankly, doesn't look habitable. It's hard to imagine something that large just sitting there empty. But I don't know. 
Looks like it should be condemned, really. If I had a bunch of money, that's the perfect building to go in and, hell, you can make a big old hotel out of that, huh? But it looks like it's just sitting here forgotten. Hmm. Got accosted by a couple of homeless people. I don't carry cash, so when I told them that I don't carry cash, I was accused of uh, generalizing and, and I was accused of being a racist. So that was interesting. But uh, yeah, I don't carry cash just for that reason. I mean, I just carry credit cards, that's it. But I'm gonna head over, anyway. That was pretty interesting. I'm gonna head over to, uh, oh, let's see. Where am I going? I'm gonna head over to that tall building that looks abandoned. Now I'm at that building I told you about earlier. Kind of towers a bit over to the skyline. Kind of to the edge. And I was thinking it was a cool looking building from the distance. That looks like an observation deck up there. I mean, honestly, it'd be a really cool hotel, but as you can see, it is, wow, really bad condition. I'm gonna guess, let me zoom in on here. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that it's empty. Um, get a bit closer to it. So a closer look, you can see that a lot of the windows are out, busted out. And it's surrounded by barbed wire fence. So, they don't want anybody getting in there. Uh, right up on the building. Yeah, you can see, look at all that broken glass. It's a unique and interesting looking building. But, see this barbed wire on top? Not really well kept over here, is it? Because this building here is boarded up as well. It's like a tarp hanging out the window up there. Archdios, Archdios of New Orleans. Hmm. Now this is called the Crescent City Towers. But it is obviously abandoned now. That's a damn shame. We'll look up the building. You hate to see something like this in this condition. And like I said, from that top floor, that would be an amazing view of the city. And to give you an idea where I'm at, there is the Superdome right there. So I'm just a block or two away from it. And there's a Hyatt hotel right there. Huh. Wow, that's amazing. This looks like it was quite the grand building in its day. But it is clearly no more. The Plaza Tower. Another look at this plaza tower. Amazing. How much would a building like this cost? You can see it's got parking too. To build. Anyway, how much would a building like this cost to build today? It just sits here empty. I freely admit, I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> huh. All right. Gonna go look around some more. Just kind of wandering around downtown here. <laughs> Interesting looking parking garage, huh?
see a lot of this old Creole architecture down here really love it this looks like an apartment complex it's really interesting you can see that <laughs> I mean on the building behind you step out your door and you're not getting much of a view there and as you go back I'll try to zoom in on them obviously those oh well, let's hope that that one is not inhabited you can see that they're not developed back there but these look like they are lived in and I'm guessing what that's what these cars are parked here really interesting downtown so far so wow look at this looks like a lighthouse huh it's really it's here in downtown it says it's a special event rental it's clearly empty but that is really cool another look at this lighthouse that is in middle of downtown New Orleans and across the street we got some more of that really cool Creole architecture architecture I love it with the big ba uh, balconies and then there's a church right there it's got kind of a I don't know what do you say about the top it kind of looks like a castle doesn't it I'm right up on this church now it's st. Patrick's built in 1833 and not surprisingly it's a national historic landmark so we're closing in on 200 years watch it's uh, roughly 190 years old We've got the gate open hmm it's astonishingly beautiful Wow. I'm on the other side of this St. Patrick's Church. Wouldn't be complete without that, would it? That is really awesome looking. And I'm not even religious. I'm gonna head into town a little bit farther. Oh, you can see that lighthouse over there now I'm in Lafayette Square now there's a homeless guy sitting by the statue he's just talking to himself yeah this is where we fail he's having a conversation with somebody obviously he's mentally I'm not going to say disturbed but he needs some help anyway I'm going to swing around this way see the statue of Henry Clay this was built here in 1856 right here in the heart of downtown New Orleans right in the middle I would say I'm looking at this Whitney Hotel very old building built in 1910 and you can see this big new modern skyscraper built right on the side of it I mean there's huh. yeah crazy huh anyway this is the heart of downtown that is the tallest building built about 50 years ago so like a lot of buildings back then it just looks like a big box it's not really interesting but it is still the tallest nobody's built the taller one yet We've got some birds hanging around downtown probably looking for food huh 
I'm right here at the base of this Hancock Whitney building, the tallest in the city. Just giving you a bird's eye view of what's around here. If I go around here this way, that's Canal Street and of course the French Quarter. I mean, just a couple blocks away. Now these are beautiful old buildings. Turn of the century. Not built like boxes back then. Of course it wouldn't be New Orleans if you didn't have some of those uh, cast iron balconies that are so distinctive in this city. Love it. Love that about this town. Look how old this building is. I'm right next to La La Quinta. <laughs> you can see this old piping on the back. Hmm. I'm gonna see what's around the side. I think this might be a store. Like I said, this is a La Quinta, but it looks like it's being refurbished because it's boarded up here on the bottom. Not sure what that means or why. Probably because of that hurricane. Ah, it's a little store in the bottom of this building. What a cool old little building. gorgeous and there's some kind of no it's not a store it's some kind of restaurant huh. now these are grand look at that you don't see detail like that anymore when buildings are built This building is really beautiful, but sadly, I think it's empty. Let's see if I cross the street. Or is it a parking garage? Let me look at the inside here. This is like a place you can drive in. I mean, look at this detail. Absolutely beautiful, and it looks boarded up. I mean, wow. Norman Meyer Memorial Building. But, huh. Locked, it's empty. You know, if I was rich, <laughs> I would totally buy this building. That's a damn shame. You're looking at a Whitney Banks clock. There are several of these in downtown New Orleans. They were built and installed in 1926. And they chime. And the chimes mimic the uh, bells at Westminster Abbey in London. So, these are works of art. They're beautiful. Some more beautiful architecture. The Creole style. Wrought iron balconies. I'm near Canal Street, which is right there. Of course, the French Quarter. And I don't know, that building might be empty.
Anyway, I'm below a Marriott Courtyard, an ultra modern building. And it's got a wrought iron, or not wrought iron, I'm sorry, it's got a fence built all around it here. I guess because maybe of the riots. It's the only reason I could think for those being here. Narrow streets. There's, oh, there's no way I'd want to drive down here. <laughs> All right. We're back in the French Quarter. And uh, this is the Mississippi River. Look at all these locks. What do you think they're there for? Interesting. Anyway, yeah, Mississippi. And uh, French Quarter is over here to our left. We're going to head in there right now. And there's St. Louis Cathedral. Andrew Jackson Park there in front. It's Andrew Jackson on a horse. Yeah, it's quite a sight. All these horse and carriages. This Creole uh, town townhouse architecture. It's like stepping back in time. And you can see my wife is taking a picture of a family. <laughs> you guys give me a little bit of energy and you can make the show good. Can, if everybody does it at once, it'll look real good. The water coming out of there is a little bit uh, weak, huh? It's missing a little water pressure. They're going to be trying to get you guys off of those steps. Huh? Because the church property, they don't like me having people there. So if I can get everybody who's watching, wait, 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 on the count of three, to move all the way up. Hello there, you're late, we were worried sick. You'll catch up, you'll get it. On the count of three, I need everybody. We're just going to get out of here. Wow, we're looking at these buildings here. I don't know, I'd be a little bit nervous up there, wouldn't you? <laughs> As I was just saying. Those look very dilapidated. Dilapidated, is that how you say it? Dilapidated. Dilapidated. <laughs> there you go. We're gonna try the Vampire Cafe out. And, uh, I don't know. Oh. Oh, you know sorry. oh, you're good. Like this, I guess. And drink some blood. Okay, we are inside the Vampire Cafe. Having our appetizer, which is blackened alligator. And of course our Jack Daniels, right? How is it? Tastes like Jack Daniels. How's it how's the alligator taste? It tastes like steak. <laughs> it tastes like steak. <laughs> which is funny because I've had alligator before and I didn't, so maybe it's just because maybe I've never had a black. Oh, we're sitting here in the bar and this is... To the right of the taps, the beer taps, there is a bag of blood. Oh, I see it now. See it? Yeah. Just in case, you know. I see it. All right, so dinner's here. I've got a vampire burger. Bloody. <laughs> and you've got gumbo, huh? And of course, Jack Daniels. I love cool things in bathrooms, and you have to admit, this is pretty cool. Good dinner at the uh, Vampire Cafe. Now it's time to go to Marie Laveau's House of Voodoo, one of the landmark places to go to in the French Quarter. Well, let's go on up in there. Well. We're leaving the House of Voodoo now. They wouldn't let us take pictures inside. Which kind of sucks. It's really cool in there. So, anyway, we're on Bourbon Street. We're going to head down into the thick of things now. I'm just going to walk down the street. You can hear all the noise from the live music. It's like a dull roar, huh? You still have your mask on. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm just going to walk down Bourbon. See the sights. 
got some kids uh, beating on these uh, buckets. Famous store. All right, we're gonna go hear some live music. New Orleans. It's a little bit chilly tonight. <laughs> we got a heater though, huh? Of course, we're having some Jack Daniels and styrofoam cups. Because this is New Orleans, and we can walk around with them. Which is cool. So we're walking down Canal Street. Heading back to the hotel. Your wife is chilly. <laughs> I said you're chilly. I'm always cold. Yeah. It's really pretty here though. Isn't it? It's awesome. Just kind of walking around, exploring, walking alongside the Mississippi River. Um, that is the bridge that I crossed at the first of the video and went over here in the middle of frame. That's where I uh, encountered that big container ship. So this is pretty much directly on the other side. Straight this way is the French Quarter. It's a really interesting town, I have to say. People here are pretty friendly. I'm not going to say I sense danger in some places, but honestly you do. There's characters hanging around that uh, makes you nervous a little bit. But there's a lot of police too, and that helps a lot. Police are everywhere. And there's just so many interesting things that you see in the city. Practically on every corner. At least here in downtown. A lot of construction here. The city is healthy. And uh, that's Canal Street right there where we were at earlier. Nice view from here. And of course, um, you can see St. Louis Cathedral. I'll zoom in right there, which is in the middle of the French Quarter. This is a pretty good spot, really. Everything is just minutes away from where I'm standing. Anyway, New Orleans is a fascinating place and I highly recommend everybody to visit it at one point because you will not be bored for a second here. It really is, honestly, one of the most unique places on earth. All right, our time in New Orleans is done, and it's time to talk about the hotel. We stayed at the Sonesta ES in the warehouse district of New Orleans, very near downtown. What do you think? For the, for the most part, really, really good. Now, however, we did pay a bit more for this place, so, yeah. um, you know, you kind of expect more for your money. That being said, I really have nothing negative to say about the place, or very little. Um, the room is nice and big. We have a kitchenette, which we love, so we can at least, like, cook a meal, mm -hmm. you know, and we don't have to just get fast food that night. Um, and, you know, we've got plenty of space, you've got the seating area, and, yeah, everything about the room is really good. Um, now, the gym itself, I mean, it, 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 it's equipped, it's fine, but it's very um, weathered. <laughs> like, Old gym. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely very weathered. Um, 
and um, but it still had you know all the things that I need to work out with and um, you know and it's nice and clean so it hits off and the breakfast was pretty good not a huge not a huge variety of breakfast foods but at least it was fresh it was nothing mm -hmm. microwaved and you I actually didn't have the eggs because I'm kind of egged out but you said the eggs were very tasty so. the eggs were great yeah so okay. yeah the hotel's in a great location it was weird when we pulled up we were like where's the hotel yeah because it didn't even look like a hotel because it's I in thought a, it was just warehouse. a parking structure i was yeah. like okay is it behind the parking lot <laughs> yeah they built it in a, an abandoned warehouse because of course we are in a warehouse district but it's walking distance to everywhere walking to downtown walk to the french quarter mm -hmm. and the room is big it's got lots of room uh like lots she said room full, in the room. yeah lots of uh uh, it's got a big kitchenette or not a big kitchenette, but it's got enough. It's got a kitchen You can cook dinner in here and um, The breakfast was good has a swimming pool. We didn't use it. That's okay Cause it's Cold it's yeah, time of year. but uh, overall Really good hotel. Yeah, so strong oh, that's Wi-Fi right. it doesn't have a hot tub Which is one of the things we like but we already knew it didn't have a hot tub so you can't right you know. There's it just doesn't advertise a hot tub so yeah. that doesn't factor in so anyway. Yeah, it's it's our first time at a Sonesta, and uh, it was a really good place. Really liked it. Mm -hmm. What's your rating? Um, well, like I said, I take down a few points because we paid more, so you expect more. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, maybe 4.4? 4? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go 4.6, a little higher. <laughs> because even though we did pay a lot more, we knew we were paying a lot. Not a lot more, but a little bit more. You expect more for your money. We got a lot more for our money, though. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, this is a really clean, nice uh, hotel. Mm -hmm. With a, it's a great room. All right, so that's it. All right, so we are heading to Tallahassee next in Florida, <laughs> the capital city. So be looking for that video. Bye.